So shortly after we had picked up a mooring boy in Sugar Bay, we organized a hike up Petit Paton for the following morning. We woke up bright and early for our hike and were fetched by the water taxi at 6 a.m. It took an overall five hours to get up and down the mountain, with a lot of ropes and clambering over the rocks, trying not to slip back down the mountain. But the 360 degree views from the top were outstanding and definitely made it all worthwhile. Tell us a bit about the mountain, buddy. Um, it's well, quite tall and uh, it's quite hard work climbing it, but we're having a fantastic time. Yeah. I'm not having a fantastic time. Why is that? Yeah, sure, sure. I feel like I'm going to collapse. Okay, Lou. You're not scared. Come on this side. I'm not scared. What are we doing? Going for lunch at the restaurants I told you about earlier. Yep. Um, it is, I think it's Ivan's Mark's restaurant. Um, Ivan. Ivan's the guy that's organised our mooring boy. So we're going for lunch there with, I think it's 18 of us, plus the two dogs. And then we'll take a very fast motorboat back. Yep. This is where we're going to have lunch. It's the mother's restaurant. What's going on, Chloe? Huh? What's going you look on? Look a bit awkward. Mm. What about me? <laughs> as awkward as her. We're now wandering to a church, which is apparently really nice. About four days ago, we sailed down to uh, the pitons. There's Puddy Piton and Gros Piton. We climbed Puddy Piton, uh, which is the smaller one. It was really, really hard work, and that was really, really good fun. And now we have left the pitons, and we are sailing down to St. Vincent. And so we were warned that we shouldn't really stop in St. Vincent because. Uh, security there has been pretty bad recently. We just won't have this bit of the video included if our boat gets stolen, just in case my insurance company sees it. I have been told that this is the 33rd most densely populated country in the world. But looking from here, it looks completely abandoned. So I don't know how that's possible, but... So we're in, um, where are we? We're in St. Vincent. Um, we've just done a nine hour crossing from the 
from St. Lucia, sorry, uh, just outside the Pitons, uh, outside Sugar Bay Resort. So we did a nine hour crossing straight from there to where we are now. Arrived in the dark, had a delicious dinner. Now we're taking the dogs for a walk and I'm eating a piece of sugar because <laughs> I love sugar. As always. As always. We took the dogs into Blue Lagoon Marina for a walk and then decided to call it a night. Good morning. Good morning. Layla, say good morning. Layla had a bit of a rough night last night, as you can see. Yeah. So she's busy caretaking her. Uh, the plan is to try to go to this spot to see if we can surf. Uh, look like there's some nice little waves, maybe too small, but. Uh, and we're gonna try to go with the paddle boat to this spot and yeah, have a try. Cool. We took a taxi ride to Kingstown to explore the town and visit the two churches. We were dropped off on a very busy street and hurried down the road to the first church, trying to escape the heat rising off the town. You should, you should try it, Jeremy. It's, it's very um, self-fulfilling. <laughs> It was a beautiful structure, but very run down and needed some tender love and care. The second church was unfortunately closed for repairs and maintenance, and we were also starving, so decided to head down to Basil's restaurant for a bite to eat. I, I think uh, the stray dogs they have here, they are crossed yeah. with uh, lizards or reptiles. Bad idea. They are always in the sun. <laughs> Super hard and strong sun. They don't even try to find shadow. We walk through the busy markets to the restaurants, while the dogs are made a fuss of by all the locals walking back. I'd like the white one. So I was like, no, sorry, it's not for sale. And then she's like, oh, she's so gorgeous. I'd love to buy her. Yeah. We've ended up in the hardware store. Daddy, Daddy goes, um, I haven't been, I haven't been into the hardware store all day. I'm getting withdrawal symptoms. So. <laughs> So here he is. Well, I want sanctuary. two little plastic hooks to hang our security lights on. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking for ideas, inspiration. Now we are going to get vegetables at long last. Yeah. After picking out some vegetables, we headed back to Blue Lagoon. So today I'm going to be going on Banyu Aman, which is some friends of ours we met in, um, in Las Palmas. Um, the owner of their boat is taking our boat for a spin with my dad. And we're going to be going to Bekwi. Um, it's going to be my first time in a while sailing on a monohull, so it should be good fun, but we'll have to wait and see. It's quite gusty today, gusting up to 30 knots. So I'm a little bit nervous, but it should be good. After arriving in Beckway, I finished the week with a windsurf. Thanks for watching guys. Join us next week where we explore Tobago Caves, one of the most incredible and breathtaking places we've ever witnessed. Filled with more marine life than you could ever imagine. Stay tuned!